All right, so we're sec uh, starting section six, honors two, uh, and this is uh, proving things uh, using contradictions, I think, but there's lots of things about, uh, oh yeah, proof by contradictions, it says it right here at the bottom. But first we're going to do some stuff with circles because it, uh, it's using some circle contradiction stuff here. We're going to rediscover pi if you haven't gone over that stuff. So again, a real quick recouping of pi. And if you don't remember what pi actually is, it is the ratio pi. Pi is the ratio, the ratio of a circle's, a circle's circumference circumference frens to its diameter diameter right so circle its circumference to its diameter right so intuitively you'll see if the circle grows so will its um, diameter right and the radius a radius is just like is half of its half of its diameter Okay, so, um, so you can say two, two radii is one diameter, so two r equals a diameter, and the equation that everybody remembers is two pi uh, r, two pi r equals a circumference, or if you replace, if you replace two r, um, in this thing, you can just say two. I shouldn't put that there. I can just say two d. I can just say d pi equals circumference, right? So the diameter times pi equals the circumference. So that's a that is a a good way to that's a good definition or a mathematical representation of the uh, of that and if you rearrange this you would say they're they're um, let me go ahead and just go the circumference divided by the diameter equals pi right so that there you go there that is the mathematical representation of um, of the 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 definition, the word definition, the ratio of the circ of the circle circumference to its diameter. All right, so that's just a real quick, uh, you know, conversation about pi. So let's put that to work with these uh, convert these, these questions. All right, so we're gonna complete the table uh, with the following things. All right, so we have a circle. Um, Q, P, and circle Q, circle P, and pause it to go get another color. Hold on. And circle S. All right, circle Q, P, and S. This is circle Q. Nope, this is circle P. And this is circle S. Okay, and Q is supposed to be blue. Circle Q. All right, circle Q is 1.2. Circle S is 2.2. Circle 3 is 3.6. All right, so what is the circumference? So I could just go to the circumference. If remember, 2 pi r um, is the circumference, right? So I'm going to use the pi thing. I'm going to go 1.2 times pi times 2 equals this will be 7 point what does it say the nearest thousandth so that's 7 point tenth hundredth thousandth would be a tenth hundredth um, so thousandths ten thousandths so I have to do 7.450. That'll be the nearest thousandths. 
Okay. Um, then I'm going to do 3.6 times pi times 2 equals 2, 22.0 tenths, hundredths, thousandths, round down at 4. Okay, and then I got 2.2 pi times 2 again, and this is 13.8 tenths, hundredths, thousandths. All right. Okay, so now what's the ratio of, of Q to O? So I got, I'm oh, sorry, Q to P. So Q to P. Q, Q, Q to P, Q to P, and then Q, Q to P again, Q to P. So the ratio of the radius, I bet they're gonna be the same. So this is gonna be uh, 1.2. So these are saying the ratio of the radius and the circumference of Q to P. All right, so the radius is 1.2. Uh, I just set this all up colors. Okay, colors. All right, so 1.2 to 3.6, and this is uh, uh, our circumference is 7.540 to 22.0. 619 and my ratio will be orange so 1.2 divided by 3.6 is 1 1 third so I guess I gotta push that button no that was point three 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 fraction decimal is one third one third okay and then point Seven five or no, it's seven point five zero four divided by twenty two point six one nine, and I'm gonna do fraction of decimal. It's like one third still. It's still like one third. It's pro. It's one third. It's a rounding error. Okay, it's one third. Okay, now, down here, I'm going to do the same thing, but it's going to be P to S. P to S. So my red to my green. Red to green to green. Red value. Green value is 2.2. 13.82. Uh, Shouldn't be that longer. Red was uh, 3.6. All right, 22.619. Can't see it all, can you? Okay, so now let's do some math. 3.6 divided by 2.2 equals 1.6. 1.6, uh, like four. And then how about this 22.619? Divided by 13.823 equals uh, 0.164. All right, so there you can see that when you change the circumference and you change, um, when you change the, the radius, you change the diameter, and when you change the diameter, you change the circumference. So that was what I will approve to set us up for. Oh, wait, now we gotta do this one too. This one too. Let me, let me set set us up here. All right, let's do this one. So this is Q to 
This is Q. What color was Q again? Q. This is going to be blue to green. Blue to green. Be blue, blue to green, green to green. And S. S is uh, 2.2. Got radius on the top of one, right? 2.2. And it was. 13.823. My blue values were 1.2 and 7.540. 1.2 and 7.540. Double checking. Okay, I can leave that page in the dust. I don't think I need these. Okay, so now I can just do 1.2 divided by 2.2 and it's 0 0.54. Let's do 0.55. 0 0.55. And then I'm going to do 7.540 divided by 13.823. And that is 0 0.55. 0 0.55. Again, same ratio. All right. So now we have. So this is proving a point. This is proving uh, the, that the uh, pi equals the uh, diameter at the circumference divided by the diameter. The circumference divided by the diameter or 2 pi. R equals the circumference. All right, that is the that is the rule. Okay, and to prove that rule, we're going to use a contradiction. Okay, so show that circle R is similar to circle T by using a contradiction. All right, so this one's a little weird, a little goofy. Right, but we have to do it using um, these two, or probably this one here, um, and the proportionalities that we have demonstrated up to this point, right? So we're going to say my circle R, say circle R is blue, right? And circle T is green. There we go. All right. So assume that blank is not similar to T. Well, R. So we circle R, circle R is not similar to circle T. That's setting us up. Okay, the ratio of circle of the rate the ratio of the radius of circle R to the radius of circle T is what is it? Okay, well, what do we have to figure it out? We got to figure out what the ratio of R to T is. So the ratios are always something to something, right? So it's always the thing that's first divided by the thing that's second in the statement. So it's going to be the thing that's first is R divided by T, which equals uh, one point or uh, this is on the bottom. This is on the top. Right, and then so it's going to be 1.2.5 divided by 1.4. Okay, and that's going to be 1.79. Is well, let's make that orange 1.79 because it's coming to both 1.79. Okay, the ratio of the circumference is so I have to figure out what the circumference is. Right, so the radius, the, so the circumference is circumference equals. 2 pi r, right? So the circumference of r is 2 times pi, uh, pi times 2.5. This is going to be 1 point, 15 point, 15 point 708. And the circumference of the green one is uh, 2, uh, or sorry, 1, 2 pi pi times 
times 1.4. That's uh, 8.796. All right. So um, the circumference of R to the circumference of T equals R divided by T. The circumference of R divided by the circumference of T. The circumference of T. Um, that's going to be the circumference of R is 15.708 divided by... 8.796, which equals, I'm going to divide that by 15.708, and then I'm going to invert that. Where's my inversion button? Uh, where's my inversion button? Hmm. All right, look for too long. I'm just going to do the math. Okay, 15.708 divided by 8.796 equals 1.7 that equals equals 1.75 or 1.79 1.79 all right so that's saying that the ratio of the radius of the radius d i u s and the ratio of the circumference circumference are equal, so the corresponding parts, circle T and circle, are proportional. All right? Since they're proportional, the circles are similar. This is a contradiction. So you have to assume that circle R is not similar to, so is not similar, similar, is not true. So all so that you can say from there that all circles are similar. Okay, so that is a, a little different from what you've been used to. Um, you use some things, you make it like a, some outrageous statement saying that something you kind of know is not true or you say that, uh, hey, these things are not, you make a, a statement that you know you think might not be true and then you use the rules that you know are true, and then when you come up with a contradiction that says, hey, these things are absolutely proportional, and that is contradictory to what I initially said. So I just disproved my initial statement with this contradiction, right? That kind of goes back in to our very, I think it was unit two, we were talking about conjecture and disproving conjectures. Right, so we disproved this conjecture, and in doing so, we um, we proved that the opposite was true. Right, so um, when we have a contradiction like this, we can use we can use uh, contradictions to actually prove things are true. Right, so so there you go. Um, this might actually act as the lesson for this as well. So maybe not. I mean, I'll probably do another example for uh, on the uh, like the homework or something. Hope that helps out.